can the wisdom of ancient philosophers truly guide modern leaders? Discover how the teachings of Musonius Rufus can transform your approach to leadership and life. Musonius Rufus, the philosopher's wisdom for modern leaders. Can the wisdom of ancient philosophers truly guide modern leaders? This is a question worth exploring deeply. Discover how the timeless teachings of Musonius Rufus can transform not only your approach to leadership, but also your entire outlook on life. In the bustling marketplace of ideas, one voice from the past stands out with crystal clarity, offering guidance that is as relevant today as it was centuries ago. Musonius Rufus, a Roman Stoic philosopher, offers us a profound insight that bridges millennia, connecting ancient wisdom with modern challenges. For I believe a good king is from the outset and by necessity a philosopher, and the philosopher is from the outset a kingly person. This statement holds a powerful truth. This isn't just some dusty old quote. It's a living, breathing philosophy. It's a call to action for every leader, manager and influencer in today's world, urging them to embody these timeless principles. Musonius Rufus wasn't talking about actual kings or royalty. He was talking about you and me, about anyone who aspires to lead with wisdom and integrity. He was talking about anyone who takes on the mantle of leadership, whether in a boardroom, a classroom or any other sphere of influence. Think about it. What makes a good leader? Is it just about having charisma and a loud voice? Or is it something deeper, something more substantial? Musonius Rufus suggests it's the latter, emphasizing the importance of wisdom, virtue and thoughtful action. His teachings remind us that true leadership is about embodying these deeper qualities, guiding others with a sense of purpose and moral clarity. The universal call to leadership. Now you might be thinking I'm not a CEO or a politician. How does this apply to me? Here's the thing. In today's world everyone can be a leader. Leadership isn't about titles or corner offices. It's about influence, decision making and guiding others. Whether you're a parent, a team member or a community volunteer, you're a leader in your own sphere. Think about the last time you made a decision that affected others. Maybe you organized a family gathering, led a project at work, or even just chose a restaurant for a group dinner. In each of these moments you were leading, and in each of these moments a philosophical approach could have made your leadership more effective and meaningful. This universal call to leadership is both empowering and challenging. It means we all have the potential to make a positive impact. But it also means we have a responsibility to lead well. Leadership is about stepping up, even in small ways. It's about being the person others look to for guidance and support. So embrace this call to leadership and make a difference in your world. Philosophy is the bedrock of great leadership. But why philosophy? Why not just stick to practical leadership skills and call it a day? Well, let's look at history. Some of the greatest leaders were also great thinkers. Take Plato's concept of the philosopher king. He argued that the ideal ruler would be someone who loved wisdom above all else. This wasn't just an abstract idea. It was a blueprint for effective governance. Fast forward to Marcus Aurelius the Roman emperor who was also a Stoic philosopher. His personal journal, now known as Meditations, reveals a leader constantly grappling with ethical questions, seeking wisdom and striving to be better. Marcus didn't separate his role as a ruler from his philosophical pursuits. They were one and the same. These historical examples show us that philosophy isn't just an academic exercise. It's a practical tool for leadership. The Pillars of Philosophical Leadership So what exactly does philosophical leadership look like in practice? Let's break it down into some key pillars. First, there's ethical decision-making, 
a leader grounded in philosophy doesn't just ask is this legal or will this make money they ask is this right they consider the broader implications of their actions not just for themselves or their organization but for society as a whole second philosophical leadership brings clarity in a world of information overload and constant distraction a philosophical approach helps leaders cut through the noise they can identify what's truly important and focus their energy where it matters most this clarity isn't just about strategy it's about purpose values and the fundamental questions of what we're doing and why lastly philosophical leadership is rooted in reason and ethics practical philosophy in everyday leadership now let's get practical how can we apply these lofty ideas in our everyday leadership roles it starts with self-reflection take a few minutes each day to think about your actions decisions and motivations ask yourself am I leading in a way that aligns with my values am I considering the long-term consequences of my choices next Cultivate curiosity. A philosophical leader is always learning, always questioning. Make it a habit to seek out new ideas, perspectives and knowledge. Read widely, not just in your field, but in philosophy, history and other disciplines. Engage in meaningful conversations with people who think differently from you. This broadens your perspective and enhances your decision-making capacity. Practice ethical reasoning. When faced with a decision, don't just go with your first instinct. Take the time to consider different ethical frameworks. Case study Alex's stoic transformation. Let's look at a real-world example of how philosophical principles can transform leadership. Meet Alex, a university lecturer in his mid-thirties. Alex was good at his job, but he often felt overwhelmed by the demands of teaching, research and departmental politics. He struggled with work-life balance and found himself constantly stressed and reactive. Then Alex discovered Stoic philosophy, particularly the teachings of Musonius Rufus and Marcus Aurelius. Intrigued by the idea of philosophical leadership, he decided to apply these principles to his life and work. He started with daily reflection, using a journal to examine his thoughts and actions. This simple practice helped him gain clarity on his priorities and values. Next, Alex applied the Stoic principle of focusing on what's within his control. The ripple effect of philosophical leadership. Alex's transformation didn't stop with him. His new approach to leadership had a ripple effect on his students and colleagues. Students noticed his increased engagement and authenticity. They began to approach their studies with more thoughtfulness and purpose. Some even started exploring philosophy themselves, inspired by Alex's example. In departmental meetings, Alex's calm, reasoned approach help diffuse tensions and find constructive solutions to problems. His colleagues noticed the change. Some were skeptical at first, but over time many began to appreciate the value of his philosophical perspective. A few even asked him about his methods, curious to learn more. Ethical decision-making through a philosophical lens. One of the most powerful ways philosophy enhances leadership is through ethical decision-making. In today's complex world, leaders often face dilemmas where there's no clear right or wrong answer. This is where philosophical thinking becomes invaluable. It provides frameworks for analysing complex issues and making decisions that align with our values. For example, let's say you're a business leader faced with a decision to automate certain processes. This would increase efficiency and profits, but it would also lead to job losses. A leader without a philosophical grounding might simply look at the numbers and make a decision based on short-term gains. But a philosophical leader would dig deeper. They might consider utilitarian ethics. 
asking what decision would bring the greatest good to the greatest number of people. Balancing reason and emotion in leadership. Another key aspect of philosophical leadership is the ability to balance reason and emotion. Many people think of philosophy as purely rational, divorced from feelings. But great philosophers and leaders understand that emotions play a crucial role in decision-making and human interaction. The key is to integrate emotions with rational thought, rather than being ruled by them. Stoic philosophy, which influenced Musonius Rufus, offers valuable insights here. The Stoics taught that we can't control our initial emotional reactions, but we can control how we respond to them. This is incredibly relevant for leaders who often face high-pressure situations. Instead of reacting impulsively to anger, fear or excitement, a philosophical leader pauses to examine their emotions. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions. It means acknowledging them, understanding where they come from and then deciding how to act. The modern relevance of ancient wisdom. You might be wondering, can ancient philosophy really be relevant in our fast-paced, technology-driven world? The answer is a resounding yes. Despite the centuries that separate us from these ancient thinkers, their insights remain incredibly pertinent. In fact, the wisdom of thinkers like Musonius Rufus is more relevant than ever. His teachings offer a timeless guide to navigating the complexities of modern life. In a world of constant change and information overload, we need the timeless principles of philosophy to ground us. These principles provide a stable foundation amidst the chaos. Take the concept of virtue, central to Musonius Rufus's teachings. Virtue, as he described, is the cornerstone of a fulfilling life. He believed that true happiness comes from living a life of virtue, not from external success or pleasures. This perspective encourages us to look inward for contentment. This idea is a powerful antidote to our culture of consumerism and instant gratification. It challenges us to seek deeper, more meaningful sources of joy. It reminds leaders that true fulfillment comes from integrity, wisdom, and service to others, not from profits or power. This shift in focus can transform leadership and organizational culture. Or consider the stoic practice of negative visualization, imagining worst case scenarios to appreciate what we have and prepare for challenges. This practice fosters gratitude and resilience. In our world of rapid technological change and economic uncertainty, this practice can help leaders stay grounded and resilient. By embracing these ancient practices, we can navigate modern challenges with wisdom and grace. Cultivating a philosophical mindset for leadership. So, how can we cultivate this philosophical mindset in our own leadership practice? It starts with curiosity and humility. Recognize that you don't have all the answers. Approach leadership as a student, always eager to learn and grow. Read widely, not just in your field, but in philosophy, history and other disciplines that broaden your perspective. Practice critical thinking. Don't accept ideas or practices just because they're common, traditional. Question assumptions, including your own. When faced with a problem, try to look at it from multiple angles. What would different philosophical traditions say about this issue? How might someone with a completely different background view it? Musonius Rufus's legacy, a call to action for leaders. As we conclude our exploration of philosophy and leadership, let's return to Musonius Rufus's powerful quote. For I believe a good king is from the outset and by necessity a philosopher and the philosopher is from the outset a kingly person. This isn't just a nice idea, it's a call to action for all of us who aspire to lead.
in whatever capacity. Musonius Rufus is challenging us to rise above mere management or authority. He's calling us to a higher form of leadership, one rooted in wisdom, ethics, and a deep understanding of human nature. This kind of leadership isn't easy. It requires constant effort, self-reflection, and a willingness to grapple with difficult questions. But it's the kind of leadership our world desperately needs. Philosophy isn't just for the classroom. It's a practical guide for leading with integrity and wisdom. Start your journey today by exploring Stoic teachings and see how they can transform your life. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more insights on practical philosophy and leadership.